Hello everyone, this is Frank Ilo from Afri Design Studios. In today's video, we shall look at something very important in Revit, and that is how to make your caps. You know what I mean by caps? This concrete work that bounds your green area. All right, this is called caps. But if you look at these very caps, these very caps comes in plain white, plain white. But we know that in most cases, caps come in black and white color. If it doesn't come in black and white color, it comes in black and yellow. But now you discover that to create that black and white color or apply that black and white color on these caps is usually a very difficult thing to do. So how do we create and apply black and white color on our caps? That is what we are going to learn today. So first and foremost, the first thing we have to do is to go to Google or any browser to download an image, a JPEG image or PNG image of black and white stripes. You have to download it first from the internet into your system, into your desktop or your documents. So how do we do that? Let us go to um let's go to my screen. I have some things I've done here. I did some screenshots because I wouldn't want to go to the browser live. So I did some savings, some screenshots. So let's see the procedure. So this is your browser, uh, your, your, your screen, okay? I use Google Chrome, Chrome. So in my Google Chrome, the first thing I have to do is to type in on this space, this space here, search Google or type a URL. I'm going to type black and white stripes, okay? Once I type black and white stripes inside the space provided by my google chrome i'm going to sorry so like you see it here black and white stripes then the next thing i'm going to do once i hit enter it's going to bring me here you can see after typing the black and white stripes i press enter it's going to bring me here and it's going to show me different designs of black and white stripes different designs of black and white stripes are going to be shown to me so if you look at this if i select this very one these are in horizontal design but this is a vertical design of black and white and this is exactly what i want to use for my caps what i'm going to do now is i come on this very one that is vertical sorry there is also another vertical one here but now if you look at this, these are more even than this. The, the white stripes here are bigger than the black stripes here. But here, the black and the white stripes, they look equal. So I'm going to right click on this. Once I right click on this, sorry. Once I right click on this, which is what is going to bring us here. I'm going to right, right click on this. It's going to show me this. Once it show me this, I'm going to come here. Save image. I believe all of you know this. I'm just trying to go through it. All of you know how to browse and how to download images on the internet. But I just want to do this for clarification's sake. So once I click on save, save image as, it's going to bring me here. Once it brings me here, I'm going to type inside this file name. I'm going to type black and white caps. You decide to type whatever you want to type in there. But for me and for this tutorial, I'm going to type black and white caps, which is this black and white 
caps then i'm going to hit save once i hit save it's going to, to take me it's going to save it on my desktop look at at the top here but if i don't want it to be saved here i'm going to select anyone either my either my documents or any other place i want to save it once you have selected where you want to save it then hit save it's going to go to your your screen and look at it on my screen now i have it here but let's just close this so look at where it has saved so this is just to clarify it but i know you know how to save this having said that i have downloaded it on my system you can see it here now now let's go back to revit back to revit how now do you bring this very saved or downloaded image into your revit environment how do you do that to do that you go to what is it called again go to manage click on manage once you click on manage come here at the top left corner here you see materials click on these materials and wait for it for some time for it to to load so it's going to bring you this then come here here you have this ball click on it or just click on this small arrow here and select create new material once you have selected create new material is going to bring out this you can see this one that is highlighted default new material right click on it come down to rename click on rename and give it the name you want to give it for me i'm going to give it black and white caps black and white caps all right once i have done this the next thing i'm going to do is to move to this top right corner here you can see this appearance i'm going to click on appearance once i've done that i'm going to come to this symbol here this icon here click on this icon replace this asset once this is done i'm going now to come to to this point here it is written appearance i'm going to double click on this appearance double click on it sorry double click on it once i double click on it it's going to bring out these stuffs so i'm going to go to stone you can decide to select anything but it is not compulsory it must be stone but just choose any material but i will tell you the reason i'm choosing stone so when i choose stone i'm going to come down here or look for any stone okay let me use this this very stone i come here on this icon here that looks like arrow i click on this arrow it's going to bring me here now the reason why i chose stone and this very particular one is because if you come to this image under this image there are some letters written site work paving and so 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 and so now you see that when you place your cursor on these letters or these words it turns to blue in color this what happened as i removed it it turns back to black if i bring it back it turns to blue this means that if i click on those letters it is going to take me to where i can select the things that are on my desktop or document or anywhere else in my system but any image or any material you choose that doesn't have this blue these letters turn to blue any image you choose that doesn't have this materials turning to blue will not give you that opportunity 
So that is why I, I went to stone, then selected this very one. It is not all the materials here that will give you this privilege. So make sure that any material you use is a material that the letters underneath here has the ability to turn to blue color when you place your cursor. So let's click on those letters now. I click on it. It now brings me here. As it brings me here, I am not going to click anything here. I'm going to come to this, my left hand side, on this column here, on this column. I'm going to select desktop. Why am I selecting desktop? That's because that is where I saved the image. I click on desktop. It's going to take me to my desktop. Now, if you look at this point, you will see the black and white caps that we downloaded from the internet. So what I'm going to do now is to click on it and click here, open. Is going to bring it here. You can see it here now. You can see it here. <laughs> you can see how easy this is. You can see the black and white here. So this does not only apply to the black and white stripes. Any other material, any other image, any other symbol you want to place on a wall or on any object, this follows the same procedure. So once I have once I have this now, I'm going to come here and click OK. I click OK. So what it now means is that I have saved, or sorry, I have brought the downloaded image right into my Revit environment. So if we go to our Revit environment now, we are going to see it as one of our materials. So what am I going to do next? It is time to apply this on this. But let's first apply it on this very one. Okay, this cannot... Okay, let's apply it here. So what I'm going to do now is this. I'm going to select this very material here. Click on it. Just the same way you would apply material on your, on your objects. It goes the same way. You understand? So once I click on this, the next thing I'm going to do, I click on Edit Profile. Sorry, what's happening? Okay, I can see that as I click on it, what I'm looking for is already out. It's not there. What's happening here? I want to apply this material here. So I click on this, click on edit profile. No, it's not giving me that. Okay, this looks like a wall. Let me see if I, if I can apply it directly. So let's go to modify, go to um, paint. I want to apply it as a paint, click on this. Then I'm going to come here and look for it black and white stripes black and white i can see it already so here is it i click on this and bring it here okay you can see it it is applied already click here it's applied already you can see our black and white then click on this one we can see it click on this you can see the black and white applied already so what I wanted to do before, sorry, those uh, little hiccups there. I thought this was a, it was um, a concrete mass. I didn't know it is a wall. So, but if it is this, you cannot apply it direct the way we applied it here. You have to click here because this is a mass. Click on this. Come to edit in place. Click on this. Then click back on this again. All right. By then, if you come under your properties, it will give you the option of material for you to change it. So I click here. And then look for those, or sorry, look for that same 
black and white we imported. I'm going to type black and white so I can search for it. So it has appeared. Then I click here and click OK. Then I come here, finish model. And you can see it, it is already there. But you can see it is having some challenges because this is a curved material. This is a curved material. You can see there is no alignment here. But for you to, to fix this, you only go back to the image. Sorry. You go back to material and increase the scale, the scale of this black and white ma uh, material you imported. Once you increase the, the scale, these images will continue to adjust until they align together. Can we give it a try? Let's go back to manage. Go back here. Then we make sure you are here. Make sure this is highlighted, black and white caps. Then click on appearance. Then click on the image itself, not on the letters. Click on the image. It's going to bring you the image here. Then scroll down. You can see this arrow here. This arrow. You can see this arrow. Use it and scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Until you get to scale. This is scale. So for the scale, the first option, we have first and second option. Click inside this first option. You can see we have 914.4. Let's just make it one. 1500 1500 then click on the second one and make it the same um it may not be the same actually once you click on the second one it will automatically give it the appropriate value you don't need to type anything once you click on the second image in the second space it is going to give it the appropriate value once that is done Come here and click done. Then click OK. Let's see. You can see what happened there now. It has been able to adjust. In case it did not adjust well or it went over, it can reduce the scale or increase. So at this point, you use your discretion to control it. Either increase the scale or bring the scale down until you get a proper alignment. Thank you for watching this video. My name remains Frank Ilo. I urge you to subscribe to this channel, recommend to your friends and colleagues, and share this video. Thank you very much. See you next time.